Your reaction to the news? I'm stunned because it took so long and now we're so happy. Uh, Tim is, is at work, he can't get here right now, but he, like I, want to express our total appreciation to the court. We want to tell everyone how much we appreciate everything that everybody has done for us. Um, this is big, not just for, for Tim and I, but it's big for the Commonwealth of Virginia and potentially further on than that. At this stage of the game, there's not a stay on the, uh, on the ruling, but they have, I think, seven days? Correct. They have seven days in which to, somebody can file a stay. No one files a stay, then Tim and I are gonna get married. So, uh, I can't wait. <laughs> uh, we truly do, though, appreciate everything that everyone's done, and we look forward to continuing to work toward uh, marriage equality outside of Virginia as well. That's what we want. Well said. Good. What's the wait been like for you? Uh, you know, we didn't think it was anything at all, and then we had a, a we were out at uh, we went to Richmond the other day because we thought they were actually going to uh, give the ruling about a week ago. Anyway, we went out to Richmond thinking they might do it, and um, we realized how much pressure it was. It was just building slowly until right now. It is um, it's been extremely stressful. Let's put it that way. It has definitely had an impact on our lives. It has slowed everything down as far as our daily life work goes, and we're totally involved with this. So we're focused right here. This is what it's all about. With uh, as many attorneys that are, are assisting us, we truly have committed ourselves to this project, and we're gonna continue to commit ourselves to it. Um, what does it say just about kind of equality in general in, for Virginia? There's just kind of been a progressive movement that's been going out throughout the state, you know, little things like this, and this is obviously a big one. Are you feeling like Virginia is more of an inclusive state for everyone? I believe Virginia is on its way to being a much more inclusive state. We have a ways to go yet. We should have to get the, the stay, and then we have probably wind up going to the Supreme Court if it goes there, or somebody, somebody's going to be considered for the Supreme Court. Um, is, that help? Did that get you there? Yeah. Did, what is the feeling of the possibility of it going to the Supreme Court? Is that a possibility where maybe some of the grandest stuff that could happen could happen in terms of it going on a national stage? Does that lead to a bit of worry for you? Does that kind of set you just going through where you are before and you're almost back to square one? What's the thought there? No, it doesn't set us back to square one. It, it does, though. It does so open us up to a lot more uh, uh, visitation, <laughs> I guess is the best way to say it. Well, that's another way of saying it, visibility. Uh, we've, we've, it's been really good. We've not had any problems with anybody. Um, you know, it's a little challenging now to go into a restaurant anywhere. But other than that, it's been great. And have you, you've talked to, have you talked to him since? Who? You know? All these people? I'm talking to lots of people. His partner, Tim? Tim? Tim. Oh yeah, just for a second. I mean, what, was, what was the reaction when you talked about it? You know what, we're, it, it's, you do it, we've been at it for so long, waiting for so long that, that it hit us and it was almost like, oh thank God, it was almost like, okay, it's over with. You know, not knowing, knowing it wasn't, but at least this step is over and we can move forward because there's so many people that are same sex that want to get married some people need to get married. And the only way that we're going to have equality in this state or in this country is if we abide by the laws of the Constitution. And for those people who think that it was improper for the courts to make this decision, the Constitution is there to make sure that the individual rights are not overridden by the strength of that group of people or any one group of people. So and we're very pleased that it happened through the courts. That's 32 rulings, I believe it is, that have happened so far. This will be the 32nd. So I think we're in a good position to, to move on. And if they want us in the Supreme Court, that's where we'll be. Uh, the joy that you're feeling now, the relief, is it kind of on the complete and opposite spectrum? Or does it kind of, does the joy make up for the pain that you felt, say, 10 years ago and change when, when you know, uh, the amendment was initially passed? You know, this is, this is a great day. 
you know, there's no negative to it at all. The pressure came off for a minute, now the pressure's right back on again because we're ready to go again. It's amazing when you sit and talk with all your attorneys and, and you know, they're, they're, they're helping you to see the light, they, but they're showing you all the various things that are going to happen because of this ruling. And though we know a lot of them, there's so many different things that can happen, and that's why our legal team is so important, because they are going to make sure that the pressure stays off of us to the degree that it can. Whether it was the couples in California last year uh, who went to the Supreme Court and, and won, or other couples that are in the same boat as you are throughout the country, do you all have any type of rapport with one another? Do you, do you email, talk, Facebook, whatever, and you guys communicate in any way and kind of share being in a very unique situation where you're the public face of a very, you know, uh, for, you know, for a lot of people, you know, a very important cause? You know, it, it, for so long, uh, for so long we didn't talk to him. Then we actually went to a um, uh, with the Perrys. We saw a, a, the um, what is the movie? Uh, eight. Yeah. The Rock Rule eight. of Eight. Yeah. The, yeah, the Rule of Eight, which is phenomenal. It was about that particular um, uh, case. We met with the Perrys. We met everyone. We don't Facebook with all of them. I Facebook a little bit with one, but you know it's they've got their own life to try to rebuild afterwards because truly it does stop your life until it's over with. When's the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> as soon as they say we can. As soon as they say we can. And we'll be smack in the middle of Christ and St. Luke's Church. So only 800 people can come. <laughs> this will be interesting, won't it? Do you think the fight's over? No, I don't think a fight will ever be over. I believe that there's always going to be people, and that's what this country's all about. There's always gonna be people who are going to be pushing, even though this is going to pass, and I firmly believe the Supreme Court will rule in, in uh, the favor of equality. There will always still be people who are going to fight this ruling one way or the other, but that's the American way. Look at our Congress. Anything else you want to add? I think that's got it. I truly do. I mean, uh, if y'all have any other questions, I'll be happy to get into them with you. And the attorneys here, I mean, they, uh, I know Bob wants to say something because it's so important, but you know, this is, this is a one group of the attorneys. There's so many attorneys involved. These are our lead, uh, lead attorneys. And these guys have been with us from day one. Uh, this man right here is the is gentleman who, who pushed, uh, uh, after I told him I wanted to, <laughs> he never let me stop. So he's been there for the whole time. Bob Ruloff's just a heck of a good guy. But um, anyway, Bob, Bob, talk. I think this case is uh, significant, you want to? not only for our clients and our clients in Richmond, it's significant for the whole country because uh, it's gonna give all the young people hope with regard to how long the struggle will go on, give them hope that the struggle may end. This struggle actually started 90 years ago, which is a long time ago. Mm -hmm. The first elected official in the United States, Harvey Milk, in, in California, was shot nine months after he was a, a elected. He got emails from all over the country from people praising him for having the courage to do what he did. The email said it gave young people hope that someday, when they're older, they can live a life without a shadow over them. When Tony and Tim first made the decision the final decision, not the first, the final decision to do this, they were sitting here on this property and a young gay couple walked by holding hands. Tony and Tim looked at each other and said, we've got to do this. So these guys will have hope and someday be able to walk down the street without fear of criticism. So our case, this decision here, takes us one step closer and maybe next to the last step where that hope can become a reality. It's not about egos, it's not about money, it's not about power. It's about hope. Harvey Milk envisioned our world as a righteous world where people could live and be who they are. Well, I think we're getting close there. And for those people who do take issue with what we say or trying to do, they should remember that sometimes being kind is more important than imposing what you think is right on other people. But we, these guys deserve, deserve the courage for walking forward and give everyone hope that this struggle will end. And when it will end is when people stop staring at people and make them feel less, less than human, less than a second-class citizen. That's when the struggle will be over. 
But this is a hell of a good beginning. That's what I got to say. I was going to, your, your reaction to the ruling? Well, I'm, I'm, clip one of these I'm excited. I really don't have words to express how excited I am because so much goes into it that my, I think this is a good stepping stone. But I'm still cautious because we've got one word to go. That's the Supreme Court. So this ruling, it, it, it's motivational, it's inspiring. We started last year in July. It's one year later. We're going quicker than I thought we would go. But you can't, when it comes to human rights, you can't go quick enough. I was disappointed it took a couple weeks, uh, months to get the ruling, but we got it. But you cannot wait any longer. Every day in the life of a gay person is not good until they're treated equally, not just on paper, by other human beings. Do you think the fight's over? The legal fight is not over until the Supreme Court rules. The, then, there, then there's this silent fight we have. The fight of being treated equal when you walk in a restaurant and people don't stare at you. That's the second fight. But that'll pass too. I've always said, when two people can walk down the street holding hands and you don't give them a second look, we've won the battle. They're treated as equals and accepted as equals because we're all equal.